Hey guys, today we get to talk about MTG Finance and in particular some of the things that are going on. And Crimson Manacore is very unique. It's unique because I'm pretty sure it's not on a reserve list and has been reprinted in 5th edition. I probably own many copies of it. So you would expect, alright, the card's no good, it's been reprinted, it's not on a reserve list. The regular 5th edition copy is worth like 20 cents. What could this copy from Legends possibly be worth? I'm glad you asked because it went from 50 cents to $13 overnight. This is a trend that we're going to see on all old cards. So the trend started with this old cards on the reserve list. Then it became old cards that are really, really good, but not on the reserve list. Then it became old cards that were kind of good, but would be difficult to reprint. Now we have gone to the point where it's old cards that are no good, have been reprinted, not on the reserve list. Obviously, those two go hand in hand. But there are cards that are not on the reserve list that would be very difficult to reprint, like Obelot. Interesting card. Definitely something that has a lot of text in it. Pretty sure it's not on the reserve list since it is a common for Popper. Anyway... This is one of the more surprising cards. I'm also going to show you a few more because it literally has, it was outclassed as soon as it got printed. It was a card that was never worth more than a dollar at any time in its life. And now things have changed. So if you have old cards and they're not good or you feel like, mm, just keep them because you all of them are going to go up. I'm just going to make a blanket statement and say eventually all of them will go up. Even something like Rebirth, it's the same story. Not a great card, actually a very terrible card. Even back in the day, I remember playing during Legends and no one wanted this card. It's just not good. And you can't actually play it. It has anti. So let's talk about this card. I mean, literally, this card cannot be played. Even if it was played, do you really you want to play 6 mana for each player may choose to be healed to 20 life? And every time someone is healed, then you that player anties a card. First off, not playable because of anti. Second off, even if it was playable without the anti part, terrible card. Terrible card. Uh, both players go up to 20. You paid six mana, it's now turn eight or nine. Your opponent is going to blow you out of water because you spent your turn maxing everyone's life total. Like, this would be okay against the worst burn deck in history that's so slow by turn nine or ten, you're still not dead somehow. I don't know, like, I don't see how this card would ever be good. And I don't need to because the card is legit, not playable due to the anti. So we have seen a um, resurgence of old cards just spiking up in price. But these old cards just don't make any sense, except that they're old. So the commonality between a card like this, which you literally cannot play because it has anti in the card text, and a Crimson Mana Core, which is terrible and reprinted, is the fact that they are both from Legends, and that's it. There's no reason that anyone would want these cards. There's no reason anyone would want to play these cards. Or, and in fact, one of them, you can't even play it. All right, now let's go on with our next story. Now we have Winter Blast. My gosh, this card has been outclassed by literally everything, including cards in the same era. So X and a green for a sorcery. X target play creatures become tapped. Winter Blast does two damage to each target creature that has flying. Okay, so what are you trying to do? So you're green, and you're playing this on your main phase to attack in with your green creatures as your kill spell. Overrun is far superior. I can think of so many other green cards that you can just win in more a more stylish way. This is very bad. It's like Icy Blast, but not instant speed. You really want this effect to hit your opponent 
instant speed, so you can so they can't attack back. You're green, and yes, maybe if they have blockers, you can go for the alpha kill. Otherwise, it's just a dead card in your hand. These cards that I look at, I don't even remember playing in them because they're so bad. And during no time period was this card probably over $2, maybe $3 at most. So we have a scenario where just the le little legend symbol, and as long as it's a rare, means that the card's going to be over $10 eventually. This is a certainty. This is not, I don't need to hide this information from you. I have fed very well on this fact. I don't have Winter Blast, but I have the Crimson Mana Core. Just the people it is going to reward are the people who have large collections of junk. Today, those junk cards and legends are no longer junk. Okay. Now, let's talk about uh, a card that is going down. So not every card in Legends is going up. So here we have a 2-5 for five, that's a lot. At the beginning of the end of combat, take control of all creatures that blocked the wretched. So that is actually very bad. It does not tap or untap those creatures. You lose control of those creatures if the wretched leaves play or if you lose control of it. So you attack with this two, five, or five. Your opponent would somehow want to block it. You probably need to lure this up somehow and not die, because if it dies, you're kind of screwed. And man, it's terrible. Uh, it is just not, not very good. So it is a rare from Legends. It is trending slightly down, which is a op buy opportunity. I hate to even say this, that this is a quote, a buy opportunity. But I would say, if you go in Legends or Arabian Nights or any of these older sets and you sort by price and you can buy a rare for under a dollar, that is an instant buy in my opinion. Because who knows what's going to happen to the card. I've seen worse cards like Crimson Mana Core hit $10. I, there's a lot of good buy options there. You just have to pull the trigger and do it. I mean, MTG Finance always changes. And that's what you have to understand. There's always opportunity to make, quote, investment money end quote. It used to be some very simple. You buy any modern card, you look like a genius because every modern card goes up in price. Easy. Now every modern card is reprinted into oblivion. Hard to make money from modern. Very difficult. Not something I would want on my worst MTG finance opponent, but super easy to make money on these cards. All right, so my rant on the legend cards is over. Now I'm going to talk about stuff like Sea Hunter, Mog Hunter, is it Goblin Hunter or Mog? This one of Goblins. These cards will always be valuable. They will always be good because there will always be more Merfolks. I can't tell when the next set will be, but it might be Domania. It might have a very good Merfolk. You plop this guy down, the Merfolk costs like 50 million, and then you got him into play. Pretty good. The card goes straight into play. Yes, it's very slow. Yes, it's kind of an ugly card, but nonetheless, it's a tutor that actually casts the card as well. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, how come this card hasn't spiked already with, like, the great merfolks from uh, RTR or something like that? People forget about these cards. These cards are very easy to forget. Nemesis was a terrible set. Um, I mean, it was just bad. That whole block was bad. Nemesis, Prophecy, I'm missing one. McKinney Mask? No, McKinney Mask. It was all around that block. I remember playing the Rebel deck, and I know that the Rebel deck had a the Parallax Wave from Nemesis, and that was how you beat your opponent with your Lin Civi and your Parallax Wave, and then off to the races you go. You're never going to be sad to have this card as a, quote, investment. Even though it's $5 today, I don't think they're going to really reprint it because they don't like tutor effects. And they don't like, this effect is not just a tutor effect. A tutor effect is, meh, it's okay, but you put the card in actual play. So it also works with the chameleons, the, the changelings. 
it's a good card. Okay, and I'm going to end every video with a card that you wish that you bought. And the card that you wish you are going to buy is Bloodbraid Elf. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. So by the time I made this video, this card is still banned. And no talk has been about unbanning it. I love it. I've always loved it. I think it's not that strong. The, the question is, is it strong enough? And the answer is yes. It's so strong it was banned. But could it exist in a format? Absolutely. You have Adrazi, who I think power and toughness and ability is much better than this card. At least given the fact that you can... You have temples. Uh, you have various um, control decks that you do need a beating. I like the randomness of it. It's going. It seems like it would be very fun to play this deck. And the recent price spike is due to no ban modern being a quote format. Don't buy into that format. That's not why I'm telling you to buy this card. I'm telling you to buy this card because it's the type of card that I can see being unbanned. When they unbanned Bitter Blossom, they were all like, oh no, something bad's going to happen. Nope, nothing happened. Bitter Blossom was a subpar card. I think what's going to happen is you will see an initial spike on this card, and then suddenly it will go down in price again because no one's playing it. It's a good card, but is it good enough to beat Death Shadow? I, I don't believe so. Um, I don't play that much mod anymore, but Death Shadow costs one, and it's generally a 7 7 8 8. I mean, this one. I mean, I want to play like into Liliana of the Veil, right? And have a Jund and then Liliana of the Veil that Death Shadow, but an attack worth this into hopefully a dead opponent. Jund should make a comeback. It was one of the most fun decks. It is one of the most unique decks in terms of grindiness and how it wins. So I'm surprised that we currently that this card is still banned and i'm just going to make the bold prediction that in 2018 sometime it will be unbanned for sure i'm almost certain of that fact and i'm acting accordingly anyway that is it leave me a comment below bye guys